switching gears slightly, um, you know, the the game, we have a bunch of wonderful, you know, Greek god idols that are in the game. Um, I love- sexy idols. They're hot, they're I sexy, mean, yeah. I, 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 how do you choose just one? I, you can't. How many abs does Apollo have? We said we counted eight, but I think there are more I in the see. game. Yes, there are more to the game. There are Easter eggs of where, uh, where the other ones yeah. could be. Yeah, feel free to take where? screenshots when you yes. play the game. Yes. Yeah. Dude, you can uh, you can romance some of these characters. Did you guys have a preference? I romance every single one of these characters. Yeah. 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 Who uh, who are you? Uh, who did you maybe kind of strike your fancy when you kind of first played through? I mean. Again, this is going to speak to my psychology probably a little bit more, but I, I, I literally looked at the characters and I thought to myself, okay, I know Anjali in her 20s would have probably picked this one and Anjali yeah. in her 20s would have picked <laughs> yeah. this one. But at this phase in my elder years, uh, I uh, I went straight for Perfe Persephone. Yeah. Because she is just like... Can you not? She may be angry, but I also kind of feel like... I might need you to have my back at some time, and I know if you love me, you're gonna have my back. Yeah. So I, yeah, I couldn't. Also, knowing that Mary, <laughs> that Mary Elizabeth McGlynn was, was I just wanted to hear her voice more. <laughs> yeah. So. That was another thing about the live performance. You know, I've been friends oh. with Mary for so long, and we always, you know, sing at her house and like goof around and everything like that. And then to actually like be on the stage, like looking into her eyes when we were singing that song, because it was the first time we got to sing it together. Yeah. Right. Um, was that was that moment and we were both eyes watering I, so oh god I'm like getting goosebumps just thinking about that again we need to tour it again Troy I know you're watching let's <laughs> let's do it um, I uh, so w with these Greek god idols who are very hot and sexy if they were kind of here in real life Laura Anjali where would you if, if if the idols were exposed to the mortal world where would you what do you what do you what do you think i'm about to ask if they were standing in front of you where would you be looking <laughs> my eyes are up here laura um, um I, abs abs yeah. we're all looking at the abs what do we how are we they're like i bet he could do the yoga thing where he like does this and you're like the abs are as mesmerizing as yes yeah. Troy Baker, we are talking but about speaking yeah. of we i didn't get to say i i Initially thought I was gonna go Apollo because I always go like tortured emo person. I like to like save them um, and I also <laughs> I can having recorded it. I Absolutely love the song that Apollo and Grace get. Yeah, it's so sweet and so beautiful um, But I ended up feeling like I, I drifted towards Freddie yeah. It just felt right yeah. to go with Freddie. Yeah, I mean, best friend, like, yeah. can't go wrong. I also love, you, you talked about the emo thing, like Apollo, you know, Troy Baker, like, he, he plays the god of sun, and he's just a very cloudy guy, and I love the kind of twist on the Greek. It's just like a fun, it's like for, for everybody this game. Um, uh, but so, but the question I was gonna ask, uh, wasn't about the abs, but I mean, we can talk about it after, yeah. Um, you know, uh, they in the game they talk about, uh, you know, it's like they can't, you know, the mortals don't know about the idols, but if the mortals did know about the idols, um, and you wanted to kind of, if they wanted to be introduced into the world, where would you take them personally to kind of show them how great the mortal world is? Oh, wow. Oh, I, what I immediately jumped into my head yes. is going to sound so cheesy. So, but I swear this was the first thing I thought. Hmm. I would take them to a convention, to like a Comic Con. Not necessarily specifically the Comic Con, but I would take them to, and here's why. Because that is a place where people celebrate the things they love and are celebrated for loving the things they love. And that vibe of people being excited about things and excited to see each other and excited to see each other inhabiting other roles and except there's just a level of appreciation for things in life and for each other that exists there that I think doesn't exist in any other place that I have in my life. Either that or backstage critical role. Um, one or the other, because I totally bring them there, because that's really, 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 really fun. It's always fun there, so there's that. That would be, but I feel like that's a, it's, they'd meet less people yeah. if I took them there, yeah, and they'd, they'd get a chance to see a broader swath of humanity. If I took yeah. Them. I'd take them to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> So much more fun. Yeah, <laughs> just give them a card with points and yeah. just go crazy. You can win prizes, bro. <laughs> uh, you don't, don't have to make them. <laughs> you don't have to make them with magic. You can you can win them. Yeah. Just land in your lap. And you can just eat whatever bad food yeah. they have there. So this, this is my uh, last last couple questions here for for this uh, interview. Um, can you pretend like you're reading from your card? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, again, there's nothing written on here. I'm... I don't know how to do anything. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, Laura, Anjali, um, <laughs> it's just like the reflection of my glasses. There's like nothing. Um, I have to ask because this is our most 
popular question that everyone always asks and they love hearing on IGN. Um, what games are you currently playing? You guys are very busy, but I know that you guys are sneaking in a session here and there. What are you, and it doesn't have to be that recent, like what, anything that, you, that you're having fun playing right now? So I have Baldur's Gate downloaded. Likewise. But I haven't started it yet because I know it's going to be such a commitment when I start like designing the character. Mm -hmm. So currently, <laughs> I'm all in Stardew. <laughs> that's my like nightly wind down, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. What what are, I I also, I'm also actually curious now that you say that what your setups are like because like obviously you're, you play on PC but like when you're winding down are you playing on? I have a I have a Steam Deck. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. I have started doing Switch, so it's like I know that I want to be in bed. Yes, you want to be cozy yeah, as you're doing it. And then fall asleep. 100%. Yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to get past the uh, training module on Apex Legends. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's um, fair. Um, this, I'm, as you guys noticed when I walked into the studio, I'm a bit of a dog lover. Um, so um, I keep getting drawn back to playing The Last Guardian because it looks like a puppy dragon. And I can't, I'm like, I'm a child of the puppy dragon. My, my life is made. Like, that's all I want. Uh, that's all I want to do. So when I'm waiting for something else to download or for when I'm waiting for things to update, I go back to The Last Guardian. That's amazing. So while Laura's on the menu screen for Baldur's Gate 3. I'll, I'll be on it for a week. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, so last thing, uh, to sort of, you know, talk about this wonderful game um is there if if you want to do like a kind of like a quick elevator pitch about why people should check out this game uh is it just sort of like a hey like check out uh stray gods role play musical um and why you love it um and we can start with whoever very loosey-goosey like <laughs> you should check out stray gods <laughs> the musical that's a role-playing musical i'm gonna start over <laughs> I love it. no, I love I it. I think that was perfect. Yeah. I think that was succinct and adorable. I would that is definitely gonna sell units. Like yeah, someone's gonna be like one. Laura's real, I'm gonna buy yeah. it. No, but it is, it's awesome. And it's an easy, it's an easy game to get into. It's only like six, seven hours. Yeah. So you get to experience this phenomenal story. Um and beautiful music. And then if you want, you can do it all over again. It'll be new. I love it so much because there, I really do feel like there's something for everyone. If you are someone who loves to be focused on story, we've got that. If you're something, if you're someone who loves music, we've got that. If you love mythology, we've got that. If you love hot gods with abs, we've got that. Um, got monsters, we've got that. We've got everything in the Stray right. Gods. I including a voice like this. <laughs> That's actually not in there. That's for the DLC. Thank you so much, Laura and Anjali. You guys are absolutely amazing. They are the stars of Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. It's available right now on Nintendo Switch, Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, wherever you like to play games. All of it. All the places. Download it. Now. Play we'll, it. We'll wait. Listen. Enjoy. It's music. It's games. Those are the two best things in the world.